All right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Got a couple questions for you. One is, does your warm market say no? And obviously not all of them are going to say no, but some of them will. And also, do some of them even try to stop you? And that's actually what this video is about, is that second part of why they try to stop you. And I want to prepare you for this. Um, as you talk to warm market, but also more importantly, so that you talk to your re new recruits, your new team members, so that they understand what's happening when their friends and family, when their mar warm market tries to stop them. I'll be using this slide. Some of you recognize this slide from a video that I got a great response from just a couple weeks ago. Um, it's about your comfort zones. Um, if you want to see that video, I'm going to put a link in the description of this one. But basically, a quick breakdown. This black dot here, that's you, um, that circle around you is your comfort zone all the way over here is your dream that big star is your dream and all the blocks in between those are the obstacles that you must overcome in order for you to get your dream now the next part that I'm going to describe here I really need to say talk about these statistics so that the next part makes sense and so these statistics that I got here they're from the US Board of Labor and Statistics I did not make these up um, you can go check for yourself also if you um, listen to the audio the strangest secret by Earl Nightingale you'll You'll find that these statistics that he says, um, and I believe that audio is like 40 years old or probably even older, are almost exactly what I'm putting here up on the screen. And why did I choose today 65 year olds? Is because that's the age that we're supposed to retire. And you'll see that, you know what, at this age, 54% of them, they're dependent, meaning they need help from the government, from charities, from their family. Otherwise, they're homeless and hungry. All right, that's over half. I want you to really let that sink in. We got 36%. They're still working. All right, that's why we see our greeters at Walmart, or you know what, we see senior people supersizing us at um, at the drive-through when we go buy fast food. I want you to realize this is that most of these people they're doing it out of economic necessity. They're not doing it because they want to pass time. We got 5%. They're dead so far. They're the lucky ones. And so we got 95% that are dead or dead broke. All right, I want you to really think about that. We got 4%, they're financially independent, and they're really hanging on by their fingernails. They're actually living on an income of about three to five grand a month, and we got 1% that are wealthy. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up this slide is, you know what, if statistics are any indicator, then chances are that your personal warm market are probably part of the 95%, and that's why I wanted to bring that up. So, uh, back to this slide, you'll notice that I've actually put in a couple more um, people and a couple more items into this. We got you, you're still the black dot, and that's your comfort zone, but we also got a red dot and a green dot, and in your life, there's probably more, and, and these dots are your friends and family. All right, let's say the red one is a friend, um, and then the green one is a, like a more parental, let's say it's a, it's a motherly figure, could even be your mother, and they each have their comfort zone. Now, I want you to realize this, is that when you decide to go into this profession of network marketing, you decided to break your comfort zone. That was a decision that you made. However, you, I want you to realize is that in the, the act of you leaving your comfort zone actually um, kind of disrupts their comfort zone, and they're reacting to that. So when you ask them to join, many of them will say no. All right, because you know what? They didn't decide to leave their comfort zone. Why would they do it? All right, they're part of the 95%. They're still good people, but just realize not everyone has that same mindset. Now, this red person here, maybe it's a friend. They may they may be pretty mean about it, right? Um, be, remember, don't take it personally, all right? Um, they may just say, hey, Kenny, you know what? I don't know who you think you are. My brother tried something like this. It doesn't work. It's one of them their pyramid things. You know what? Don't do it. You know what? I, you're just going to fail. All right, you're going to feel real bad, you know, if you let it get to you. The green one, it could be a mother figure. It may, they may try and stop you. It may sound a little bit different. It may say something like, you know what, I just don't want you to get hurt. You know what, we've spent a lot of money on your education or you've spent a lot of time on your education. You know what, it's not that bad working a job. Why don't you go back and do that? And if you listen to them, then you're likely to go back into your comfort zone and forget about that dream. All right. I want you to be prepared for that so that you don't go back in your comfort zone. Also, I want you to share this video with your new team members so that when you ask them to talk to their warm market, they're at least prepared for that part so they're less likely to go in their comfort zone. Hope that makes sense. So as you leave yours, 
you know what, you're going to disrupt your friends and families, their comfort zone. But realize this, is that you may have another friend in your life already. If not, you're going to meet someone or a group of people. Um, it could be your direct sponsor. They have a large comfort zone. It's bigger. And they're going to be cheering you on. All right. They're going to be encouraging you. And it could be your sponsor. It could be someone in your upline. It could be someone cross line from you in the same company. It could be a master distributor. You know what? It may be even someone in another company. They're just part of a profession. They may say something like, you know what, Kenny, I'm glad that you've joined the profession. I wish you were in my company and on my team. But you know what? Kudos to you for at least stepping out of your comfort zone. And they're going to cheer you on. And if you stick to it, you're going to get over a couple obstacles. And eventually you're going to get to your dream. And that's what I want to talk to you about. I trust you got some good value out of this. What I invite you to do is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, you want to see more videos like this, go over to my blog, KennySantos.com, put in your name and email. And um, you know what? You're going to get notified whenever I make a new video and put up a new blog post. All right. Thank you and create a wonderful day.